Hey guys, watching Volgor's videos. This is a video on my CD player collection. I've wanted to make this video for a long time, and uh, I've tried to look look up videos on YouTube of people with their CD players, but you know there are not many videos of them. Very few, very very few. And uh, you know the way technology advances, I just there's a, there will always be a place in my heart for CD players. Just like you know how much I love CD pl or MP3 players to this day. You know, I have three right now, I think. Four? Three. But, um, you know, back then we didn't have C or MP3 players, we had CD players. And yeah, so I just want to start right here with the Panasonic SLSX320. Here's your buttons you got stop, play pause, uh, memory, rewind, fast forward mode, volume down, volume up, and EQ. Now EQ just means bass boost. You have bass, bass plus, and then live, or nothing. And uh, with live, it kind of makes it more of a surround sound kind of sound. It sounds pretty good. And then you have, you know, nothing, bass, and bass plus. Uh, this CD player I bought a while back ago for 99 cents. Actually, I think it was half off day, so maybe it was 50 cents. I don't remember. But I know it was a great deal. It was probably originally like 30 or 40. Panasonic makes some of the best CD players, at least when they made them. Um, I've never been disappointed by a, a Panasonic CD player. But uh, yeah, there's their the battery compartment. I don't have much else to say about it. But there you go. Battery life is probably about 40 hours. This is a cheaper model that did not have a radio, did not play MP3s, just CD player with anti skip. Um, next I will show is my last newest CD player. This is the Sony G2, I believe that's a G, or 5. Sony G2, uh, A Track 3 Plus MP3 Walkman. CD Walkman DN5, DNS 707F. So you got your buttons, uh, you got, uh, let me zoom in and see if that will help. You got uh, radio on, memory band, so you can go through your FM, AM, TV, weather, or uh, go through your memory presets. You got display, so you can you see how far you got for, through the song, how, how long you have left. And there's also a menu, if you hold on the button, it'll go through a menu, you can change like how long you want the how long you want to stay on before it shuts itself off, uh, the, the bass settings, and you know, go through all the settings. It's a lot like a modern MP3 player. Folder left, folder right, go through different um, folders for different artists or albums. Artists or albums back then, you didn't go through artists, then the album, and the artist, and then your song, like an iPod. This is before that, you just had al or, uh, folders. Then you got right here, you have a uh, volume down up. Rewind, fast forward, uh, play pause, and stop. This was uh, $7 at Goodwill. However, originally, I can guarantee you this was at least uh, $70, $80, or $90. In fact, it was probably $109. I remember these CD players being really expensive. Oh, also, you got your hold switch to lock the controls, or power, and headphone. The G2s are meant for, you know, sports and jogging. Well, sports, but I mean like, you know, jogging and for serious uh, weather conditions. It's got gaskets, so when you open it, um, when you open it up, it's got a, a gasket, I guess, or a locking feature. I don't really see a gasket. Maybe that's the other one, but it's supposed to be better for, like, if you're going on the beach or you know, going outside in some of the more dangerous whatever. It's just supposed to be better for outside conditions, which I never had a problem with any other ones, you know, with rain or whatever, as long as they weren't too wet. I mean, they're not, it's not even waterproof, but it was just supposed to be better. Uh, but yeah, it was really expensive. And uh, for, for what it is, it's got, these, it's got a weird uh, controlled layout. I mean, with my stubby thumbs, it's not very comfortable to use. But however, it was a great piece of my collection. Battery life is probably at 
40 hours uh, radio and CD and probably like 70 hours for MP3s. Yes, it took 8-tracks, which is Sony's old retarded format. Uh, it probably took like 2 hours to burn a CD with like 700 songs or like 20 minutes or 10 minutes to burn a MP3 disc with like 300 songs. I've burnt one 8-track 3. It took forever and it would scratch easier. It was not worth it. And the MP3 disc took, you know, took less time. And, uh, yeah. Alright, so next I got, uh, the Sony Car Ready CD player. Bought from a kid for five bucks. Your buttons. You got open. Fold her up, fold her down. Play mode, loop, and what was the other one? Display. So, like, you know, count down or count up, whatever. Artist, album. Uh, jog dial, so you can go through your MP3s and go browse through your folders. Rewind, fast forward, play pause, and stop. On the side, you have a uh, sound for your bass one, bass two, or nothing. Uh, power input. On the back, you got your hold slider. And this is the model uh, DNE51 8CK. This is a pretty good CD player. The only problem was is that it's with most Sony CD players, if you crank it up with the bass on, it would lose power and it, would, it wouldn't be as loud. So you'd have to often turn down the bass if you want it to be relatively loud. Um, common problem with Sony CD players. Uh, next is probably my favorite CD player right here. This is the 8-Track 3 Plus MP3 CD Walkman D. NE5, or excuse me, DNE319, Sony Walkman. I bought this, actually my dad found this in a bush when he was working, and uh, yeah, it's free. I did buy one just like it though, a while, uh, before I had this one, and it was like 70 bucks, and the only difference was it had a better paint on, design on it, it looked like it had little, uh, what's the word, like nipples or like divots. Looks like little bubbles, and uh, had radio. That was the only difference. But it's got a menu system. You can go through your favorite. Uh, you can go through your your folders, and uh, your buttons right here. You got your folder minus, folder plus. If you push search, you can actually go through it like an MP3 player. Up, down, left, right. Pick your favorite song. Uh, stop. Volume up. Volume down. Play pause. Rewind. Fast forward. And then you got display and menu. So you hold on that button to go through menu, adjust your bass and your your uh, presets and your equalizer. This one not only had an equalizer like treble, mid-range bass, but it also had three bass settings. So this was really high tech for its time. Also, it had uh, it only took one AA battery, so that was really cool. Instead of running around the house for a AA battery. Or two, I mean. You just had to find one. Bar Life is like, I think, 40 hours for uh, music and like 50 hours for MP3 or something like that. I can't remember. Maybe it was 25 for for CD and uh, and 40 hours for MP3. Maybe that's what it was. But uh, it was less than, you know, something like this. However, it took twice the battery, so... It was pretty good. The only thing I don't like about this CD player was the power input. Uh, the only power input I could find for it, unlike most of them uses 4.5 volt. Uh, this one used, I believe, 3.0 volt, 3.3 volt. And a Game Boy Color power cable would work, but if you bumped it, it would shut off. So you had to get it just right. All right, next. I got uh, this Panasonic SL SV570. It's got 30 station memory. There's your tuning mode. There's your radio band button. It's got decent anti skip system with MP3. The sound is amazing on this. The buttons. You got FM re reception, city normal. Never notice a difference. Uh, play mode. Then you got mono stereo. You hit that if it's like static keys. Sometimes it helps if you put in mono. Uh, memory recall to go through to set your presets for the radio. SS, SXBS for your bass boost. You have nothing, bass, and bass plus. 
Volume down up, rewind, fast forward, stop, and play pause. Uh, then you open up like, like so. Opens up pretty wide. Takes two double A's. Um, there's a lock switch, power, and headphone jack. Unlike the Sony's, these, the Panasonic's, you could crank up with the bass all the way up, and they would not distort. Uh, unless maybe it was up all the way, but it would not lose power. It, w it was, you know, a great balance. Um, I had two of these. The first one I opened up, and I was bored, and I took this part off, the spindle, and the little springs in there that hold in and lock in the CDs. You know, shot all over the place. When I put it back in there, it would not lock in the CD, and then it was lopsided, and it wouldn't spin evenly, so never pull these things out. Uh, the first one I bought, I think I got for Christmas, or... No, I bought it for 70 bucks, I think, at Target. Can't quite remember. And then, uh, maybe that's why... Yeah, I don't know. But, I took it back, or no, it broke. That's why I broke it, and then the second one I got at Bimart for 50 clearance. So yeah, that was a Panasonic. Uh, and finally, here is my Sony uh, Sony Walkman DFJ 210. This is my second CD player. Battery life is really good. I think it was like 70 hours for radio or maybe it was kind of high. Maybe it was like 30 hours. Maybe that's what it was. Something like that. Because it didn't play MP3s. This one did. This one, if you hold down your uh, fast forward button, you could not seek through songs. You could not fast forward, it would just go through folders. If you put in a regular CD though, you could fast forward like normal. But it was a good trade off. You, you know, fit on 300 songs on there. So what if I couldn't fast forward? I could fit 300 songs on here. Yeah, awesome. This one though, it had uh, TV, weather, FM, AM. Your buttons are uh, sound, your bass boost. AVLS, which only limited your the volume to three notches, which is pretty pointless. P uh, play mode and loop. Uh, volume up, volume down. Open. Right there, you have your G protection. Uh, your anti skip slider. I don't know why you would turn it off. You actually got worse battery life if you turned it off. Took two double A's. And your stop. Radio off button, play pause, rewind, fast forward. This is a great CD player. I loved it very much. Um, it, it it went through a lot. I remember one time I, I rode my bike and I just barely missed the bus. I rode my bike as fast as I could down to the bus stop, and then I hopped off my bike. My bike went into the ditch, and this thing actually rolled under the bus. And I grabbed it, you know, I stuffed it in my pocket, and went with went off my day, and it still worked. This thing has been through a lot right here. Um, originally retail for 70 bucks, but I got for Christmas. Has a, a remote jack. You had a, you know, extension about three feet, and you can like control your your music, fast forward, rewind, volume, and all that good stuff. With this in your pocket still, but you know, just control it. So every time you want to change a song or fast forward, or you know, just adjust volume, you don't have to pull it out every time, which is pretty cool. But then I think it got jammed or something. It got ripped apart. Yeah. I have another one, it was my brother's. This one's like meant for a car system. No volume controls in that one. But yeah, I had a, one other CD player. It was a Memorex, it was the worst CD player I've ever used. Um, well, maybe not the worst I've ever used, but it was the worst I ever owned. Uh, that one only had a tw uh, 25 second anti-skip as opposed to uh, 45 for most of these. And, uh, if it hit a bump, you know, it had a bucket, and when it filled up, hit a bump, the bucket would go down to nothing, and uh, it would skip like crazy. The battery life was atrocious. It was like three to six hours tops, because it was an hour ride to school, an hour ride back, and uh, in, in the course of three days, the batteries would be completely fried. Uh, and there's, there's no lock switch, so if, if it got bumped to my backpack, it would just play throughout the day, and uh, when I got on the bus, it'd be dead. Yeah, awesome. Eventually, I like paint. I like put it sharpie all over the top of it. I like cut slits in it so I could see the CD spin. And the thing that killed it was I was I took off the spindle and see if it'd work on another CD player. And I bent it up and 
Yeah, now it doesn't work anymore. I don't know where it went. But yeah, it was okay when I first got it because, I mean, at least it only took two batteries. I mean, there's a, a CD player I, one of my friends had that had, it took four toy batteries. Yeah, that was insane. But, um, yeah. I mean, it did have sucky battery life, and it did, uh, skip, skip like crazy, but it did have one thing. It was loud, and it had decent sound. That was, I'd give it that. But yeah, there's my, uh, CD player collection. My Sony, Panasonic, another Sony, another Sony, the other Sony G2, and my Panasonic right there. If you have any questions, if you want me to do individual reviews or, you know, play disc or whatever, let me go into more depth, just let me know, I'll do it. Uh, I love CD players, and uh, if I come across one for cheap at a, at a, a value store like Goodwill or Value Village, thrift store or whatever, I might get it, but I, won't, I wouldn't spend over, you know, six bucks max. Like, the only reason I spent seven dollars on this one is because it was, you know, a hundred dollars originally. But, you know, one like this, I already have most of them. You know, they have to at least, you know, be half decent. I'll just buy any CD player. I w I've always wanted a Memorex that uh, a neighbor of mine had that it never skipped. It was really good, and it sounded really good, but uh, when she stopped using it, she broke it. And, yeah, that's fantastic. And there was one just like it at Rite Aid I wanted, but it was one of a different brand, so they pretty much copied it. But anyways, yeah, if you want to send me your CD player, that'd be awesome. But I doubt anybody would. But if you want to send me your CD player, I'll take it. Does look videos, and stay tuned for more.